Hey, what's up guys? Hi, how's it going on? Thank you so much for clicking the video. I'm Iris and welcome back to another Clash Royale video. And this is a 2 vs 2 deck. This time we have the Mega Knight and the Sparky deck. Now, both of these decks, the uh, uh, guy who's actually gonna come from your side, your teammate, will also be having the Sparky and the Mega Knight with you. So, uh, one guy should probably have the Mega Knight and the Sparky. The other guy should also have the Mega Knight and the Sparky. And the first guy should have the Inferno Dragon, Arrows, the Gang, the uh, barrel, tornado, and the rocket. Now, your other teammate should probably have the visit, the Mega Knight, Sparky, Executioner, Princess, the Guard, Bandit, and the Log. Now, this is a really cool deck. If you don't want the Log, you'll probably take in the rocket to do some extra damage, but then the Log is kind of the one that you actually want to prefer. And I actually met this guy, I'm actually playing some 2 vs 2. And it was really awesome. We pretty much won so many battles. I just cannot recall how many we actually won in a row. There were so many of these battles that we actually uh, uh, did win. So this is uh, by far the best 2 vs 2 deck. You can just give it a try if you want to. And just see what's going to happen. So if you didn't see the video where I actually put in this deck itself into action. These two are the real cool cards. Now if you didn't see that deck. You can probably go down in the link in the description. Or there should be a card somewhere. Where you can actually find the Mega Knight Sparky deck, which is really wonderful. I highly recommend you, if you have the Sparky and the Mega Knight, also the Inferno Dragon, the three legendary cards, you can probably try this deck out. It's really going to help you a lot. So, let's just get into some loot plays and I'll show you what this deck is going to do. So, yeah, let's get into some loot plays and just see how this deck is going to actually work. So, these are some loot plays over here. So, it's pretty straightforward, you guys. You definitely have to understand that the Sparky and the Mega Knight are really a great combination. Now if you can see we both have Sparkies but then don't have Mega Knight. So I would recommend unless you have the uh, Mega Knight and the Sparky in your first hand you probably should not use it. And also if you have Area Splash troops in front of you which can actually do some Area Splash to the troops in front and you actually want to put in the Sparky. In my case I didn't probably have any other card except the uh, Sparky to actually put in and that's the reason why I actually put in the Sparky. Now you see two Sparkies is really going to be a big threat. Any ground troop for sure is going to go down and this guy is coming in strong. We're going to arrow it down and take that, uh, what is that, the Inferno Dragon along with those minion horde down. So the Sparky you see the amount of damage he actually does is just a massive and you just cannot uh, think about the actual damage he actually does. So we kind of wasted up some elixir. You probably want to communicate. Uh, now this was some uh, random guy but then we did so many attacks that we actually won so many of them and it was really exciting. Now we do have the Mega Knight both of us but then we don't have the Sparky but then it all depends about uh, what troops are coming in. If you're actually having the Mega Knight in case of this you can actually put in the Mega Knight to deal with some uh, uh, area splash just like that and to probably many of those troops. So you see the Mega Knight is actually locked on to that tower but then the Inferno Dragon is actually locked on as well. We're gonna put in the barrel and do some extra bit of damage as the Princess is locked on to uh, the Executioner and this side the band is actually doing some crazy bit of damage so we're gonna actually put in the uh, arrow over here for the Inferno Dragon and we're doing pretty good at this point he's actually gonna log it I'm just wait and just see okay he logged it on the other side I actually thought he was gonna log it this side but then he actually locks it on the other side really bad but then that's not a big problem the princess is actually gonna get one shot it's gonna kill that uh, uh, oh my goodness it's gonna kill that spare goblin as well as that tower that's really nice but then just see the amount of hit points that I actually left on that the uh, XC not the executioner the uh, musketeer actually did take that princess down so we're actually gonna put in the uh, the uh, executioner is actually gonna do some damage and I'm gonna put in the Mega Knight as you can just see both sides Mega Knight is pretty much game over. <laughs> I actually put in the Tornado because I wanted to club all the troops together to just make sure that the Sparky is gonna do extra bit of damage to that tower. So the Wizard again is gonna do some damage over here. The uh, what is that? The Inferno Dragon actually did take that tower down, but then the tower is probably down. The fact that we actually just did so much damage from these Spare Goblins and the Golden Gang, and that's pretty much what you exactly need so let's get into some other replay and just see how it's gonna end up so I'll be putting in two replays so here's the second replay so it's really straightforward you guys put in the Sparky from behind put in the Mega Knight and just watch that these two actually do some crazy bit of damage make sure you also use the Tornado to actually club all the troops together for the Mega Knight and the Sparky to actually do some damage to 
most of the troops at least. Uh, but then the big problem is of course the air troops, so you definitely will be needing executioner and the visit from your teammate to actually uh, work on that. So the Sparky over here won't let uh, any uh, guys come in and do some damage. So you see the Sparky is going to kill both the executioner and uh, the uh, visit. That's really nice, but then we can actually put in the Inferno Dragon, put in the visit and I think they're going to have some hard time taking this side down, but then the Sparky can't take it down. Goodness, the Sparky couldn't take it down. We're gonna bring the Wizard to over here, and it's pretty much game over. The Wizard did some crazy bit of damage. We're actually gonna arrow this time on. Oh no, I couldn't arrow. Uh, I just put in the uh, barrel before I actually I could arrow it. But then we're gonna save the Inferno Dragon. We're actually gonna arrow these guys out in here. Make sure they're not doing any bit of damage. So we're gonna put in the bandit, hopefully. I guess I'm gonna put in the bandit. But then the strategy as I said here is pretty straightforward. Our princess is gonna die, the fact that yeah, she's pretty dumb. Uh, so she's dead over there. We're gonna put in, I guess, the Mega Knight or something. I put in the Mega Knight and I don't know who actually put that. It's him, not me. Yeah, this is my deck. The Sparky that I actually put in was my side. I have spare goblins. I mean the goblin gang, he doesn't. So it was definitely him. Yeah, it is him. So forget about that. Uh, we're actually gonna put in the executioner. Executioner is gonna do some air splash to those minions. And it's pretty much gonna be game over. The fact that I actually put in, oh, so the bridge is gonna go down as soon as the Sparky initiates, and it's pretty much so sad. That's the main reason why I actually use in the um, Tornado to club all the troops together, do some crazy bit of damage from the Sparky, which actually is gonna take everything, most of them, in just one shot. That's really awesome. So again, uh, my uh, teammate has log in hand, so they're actually putting in maybe some. Uh, one troop just like that. I'm actually gonna arrow it up and kill every single guy out in there. Such sad story over here for the minions. They probably couldn't do anything. They did put in some executioner but then the wizard is actually gonna do some damage. So we're gonna put in the Mega Knight and not even let them do any bit of damage. Oh my goodness. So we're pretty much good at this point. The Sparky is gonna shoot at him. I mean shoot at him and just Kill that hog rider down. We probably are gonna put in the barrel again and again. Just see the amount of damage the tornado is actually gonna do for the minions while the princess is actually doing some area splash. The Sparky, oh my goodness, no, 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 really bad choice of selecting the troops at this point. Uh, but then we actually did make it and we're actually gonna win at this. So we pretty much got the second victory as well. That's pretty simple for us. But then that's how awesome this deck is, you guys. You just see the troops over here from my side is the Mega Knight, the uh, Inferno Dragon and the uh, Sparky, also the Barrel which actually is a big threat if you just ignore him, if you don't have maybe a log or maybe arrows for that, he's pretty much gonna do a crazy bit of damage from my teammate, he also has a Mega Knight, the Sparky and another cool troop which is the Bandit as well which is actually gonna do some crazy bit of damage so Bandit again is again awesome, if you have the Bandit you can probably take that down as well. So uh, thank you so much for watching guys, hopefully you enjoyed, make sure you do leave a like if you did in this video. Thank you so much for watching till the very end and make sure you subscribe to the channel, Cry Clash of Clans or Clash of content every single day. Make sure you click on the bell notification icon to get notified and lastly thank you so much, I'm Arikage, see you next time on the land, goodbye.